Hello Hawks, welcome back to OETV. I'm Joey. And I'm Tim, and we have a whole new slate of Hawk news coming at you this week. So buckle up. On October 9th, put on a nice shirt and do your hair well because it is picture retake day. On October 9th, there will also be a college and career fair, so keep looking nice. Friday will be the battle of the biggest bird in Olathe. Our Hawks will go against the Northwest Ravens. Kickoff will be 7 p.m. at Seabag. The theme for this game is Jungle Out. Before we get there, though, go support your favorite senior sign in the drama theater because at 7 p.m., there is Senior Showcase. Speaking of OE Theater, Caden Tweed was able to go behind the scenes and see what it is like to be part of such a great program. It's show week for Senior Showcase and How to Kiss a Girl, and OE Theater wants to see you at the show. Doing theater is something that anyone who has done it will tell you is an amazing and rewarding experience. I asked some people who have done theater regularly what they liked about it. Here's what they said. So, uh, what is your name? Uh, I'm Ethan Hansen. And what do you do for theater? Um, I do lights and sounds for tech theater. And what's your favorite part about doing theater? Alright, thank you. Um, I'm a techie, so I work backstage with mainly painting. Um, I think it's great to like be a part of this community. I think theater at East is like a really awesome thing to be part of. So like being able to like paint all these things and do all these crazy things that, like you can do outside of school, especially at your age and like these like, experiences. Like these can help you with like projects at home or like you know it's cool. So Alright, thank you. You can scan the QR code to buy tickets for the show. There are showings on the 28th, 29th, and 30th, all at 7 p.m. That is this Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. We hope to see you there, Hawks. And to the actors and techies of the show, break a leg. The Senior Showcase will take place Thursday through Saturday, and you can get your tickets at oetheater.com. Hey, Tim, did you get a haircut for Hoko? That's a stupid question. Of course I did. Speaking of stupid questions, did you know today is National Ask a Stupid Question Day? How was I supposed to know that? Well, I did. So Charlie, Nathan, and Finn went out to the halls to ask some stupid questions to see how Hawk Nation would respond. This is Finn, Charlie, and Nathan with National Ask a Stupid Question Day. Yeah. How many chickens would it take to kill a lion? 100. Correct. How many chickens would it take to kill a lion? 300. Correct. Follow me, follow me. Excuse me, excuse me. Could you eat a live catfish in under 10 minutes? No. Why not? Um, um, I'm not Tom from Tom and Jerry. Good answer, thank you. <laughs> if you were suddenly arrested for no reason, what would your family and friends assume that you did? Oh man. I, I road rage, definitely road rage. Hey, excuse me, excuse me, can I ask you a question? Sure. Uh, if you wanted to be an inanimate object, what object would you want to be? Uh, a vase. If you could merge two different animals to create the ultimate animal, what two animals would it be and what would be their product? Uh, okay, that's a, that's a good question. Um, I feel like a seal and like a, like a, like a, like a gecko, like a seal and a gecko. If you were in a Nathan's hot dog eating contest, how many hot dogs would you eat? I got 40 in me. I got 40 in me confidently. I think I got 40. Okay, okay. Excuse me. I got a question. Uh, blah, 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 boo, boo. Ba, da, da, mum. Excuse me, I have a question for you. How many four year olds do you think you could take in a fight? Four year olds in a fight? I could take like 10. What? Excuse me, excuse me. How many goldfish do you think you could swallow at one time? Um, probably like 20. Okay, good answer, good answer. Hey Hawks, it's that time again. Hey, guess what, it's time for IG polls. We're gonna ask you some Hawks some questions for a chance to win a free Chick-fil-A card. If you're the winner, please head to Mr. Harrington's room, room 203, to claim your prize. Today's first question is, what OE alum was a Tony nominee last year? A, Jason Cooley, 
B, Ben Lodge, C, Jackson Hugh, D, Jack McGregor. The correct answer is A, Justin Cooley. Second question, who is the OE theater director at OE? A, Mr. Goddard, B, Mrs. Sellers, C, Mr. Schaefer, or D, Mr. O'Grady? The correct answer is C, Ms. Schaefer. All right, number three, which production is OE Theater putting on this season? A, Gypsy, B, Book of Mormon, C, Les Miss, D, Rock of Ages. The correct answer is D, Rock of Ages. Congratulations to Gabby Blaine. You are this week's winner. For your chance to win next week, put on your post notifications and follow OE Television on Instagram. Hey, Andrew, what are you listening to? Hey, I'm listening to The Chicken by Your Neighbors. Now that we know what Andrew is bumping, let's head to halls to see what the rest of OE is listening to. What are you listening to? Um, Tripper Drown by Ghana. What are we listening to? <laughs> T.I. Rubber Band Man. What are you listening to? Uh, I'm listening to Touchdown by Babyface Ray, PZ, and Murder Beats. Thank you. Yep. Excuse me, what are you listening to? Oh, um, Lola Montez by Bulby. Thank you. Excuse me, what are you listening to? Oh, I'm just listening to Agoria Hills by Doja Cat. Thank you. Be my security, it's your therapy, but you ain't holding. Excuse me, what are you listening to? Mm, nothing right now. Um, You're not listening to anything? No. No? You just have the earphones in? Yeah. Thank you. Those are some awesome music, OE Hawk Nation. That's it for today, Hawks. Make sure to bump, tap in next week for another episode of OETV. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.